Ugh. That's why he's not wearing pants. They just get in the way. Oh my god. Oh god. Up oh, there's Manny. He needs to give in to the urge. No! He. I like Sly's comment on this too. Yeah, you can throw throw him Bentley onto the ice. Bounce, the bounce him off Manny. <laughs> Yeah, throw him on Manny, dude. Yeah, yeah, you, you can throw him on Manny. Manny. Whenever I hear Manny now, I'm just thinking of uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Seventy-three dollars. Holy shit. For an M2 barrel. What was that Kevin said in episode four? That bitch Manny. <laughs> Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Bitch Manny. Okay. See, Josh. Rip Manny. Manny got uh, frozen again. Yeah, it's making me pissed off. <laughs> it's okay, Josh. He didn't have any pupils anyway. He was a stupid son of a bitch for what getting frozen again. You discriminating against living things with no pupils? Yes. If anything has taught me anything, things without pupils you don't have souls. You just hate jellyfish, don't you? They don't even have eyes. <laughs> They're twice as evil. <laughs> <There's one. laughs> All the jellyfish, their only uh, meaning in life is to give you pain. That's their only meaning. <laughs> Just walking on the beach and all of a sudden, ow! I, in, my in, foot the, hurts. in the famous words of Sam, jellyfish only do is drift, drift, sting, drift, drift, sting. Who is Sam in this instance? You know the guy Sam and Max, or oh yeah, yeah, from Telltale. So I think they're Telltale. Yeah, they are. I only know of their uh, their games from uh, Poker Night and the Inventory. Yeah, that, that's where it comes from, that, that quote does. Uh, that game is hilarious. Have you guys played that? Poker Night? I've Poker. heard of it. Yeah. They have the first one, which is is still funny, because it has the heavy from Team Fortress 2. Yeah, and he's just like, Little bunny man, I have nightmares every night of soldier it, uh, bleeding out, and there is no medic to be found. All the quotes in that show are funny, or that game. There's Tycho, Max... Doctor! There's heavy. There's that's psycho. strong. Which I don't know who that where that's from. Bad, uh, strong bad. Bad, strong bad. Yeah. Yeah, I forget. That's too. how I lost my medical license. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the second one, it's um, it, fly, grass, the second the gross. second one has better Bro and bigger characters I because it has it has it, Brock, Brock Samson, yeah. Trap, Ash Williams, and <laughs> Sam. Yeah. That those are the bigger titles, which make it even way funnier. Because there's this, oh yeah, and GLaDOS is like the, like, referee or some shit. Yeah. Which is funny, because there's this one, like, line of dialogue that links Ash Williams to relate to Brock Samson. Oh, yeah. That, I thought that was really funny. More power! Power! More power! Give me the power! I need the power! So you have like one more mission and then we can go on to the main boss. Yeah. And then we can finish this game. By doing the last episode. Yeah. Which, how long is the last episode? <laughs> Same as this? Same as yeah, this. Actually, it's probably a little bit shorter. Eh, depending. Because depending on your skill. We get to meet the, uh... Boy, what the fuck? Okay, so guys, when we do the final episode, we have to be quiet because that's when the story gets really good. Uh, yeah, actually it does. And actually the ending of this episode is fairly decent too. Alright, you can probably just kill yourself. <laughs> and spawn by the safe house. No, I am going to keep Bentley alive. If if Bentley died, the Cooper gang would die with it. <laughs> oh, is that is that Luke screaming? No, it's it's Spider-Man from the 1990 series. Wait, is that where he's screaming? Oh, when, shit. Mar well, when Mary Jane is like the apparition and she disappears and he goes, no! No. <laughs> oh wait, is that the animation, or is that? Yeah, the... I just said that. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Stupid. Speaking Dude, that of that is so Dong Dangus. That is depressing, by the way. Yeah. Speaking of Marvel, I thought I thought you. I don't know why, but 
I always love the scream in Spider-Man 2 where he goes <laughs> when it's it's about to fall on. Oh me. yeah, that's hilarious. Oh yeah. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, but say what you will about Tobey Maguire, I think he gave his, that performance his all. My uh, my mother hates him. I don't know why. She just said that he's creepy. That's messed up. I, don't know. I think it was because of the Great Gatsby, but yeah. Great Gatsby. Oh, the, the, like, remake? Yeah. Mm. He was also, have you guys seen the movie uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? Because he was in that, too. No, is he good? He's barely in it, but he plays as a hitchhiker that has a really weird, ugly, blonde mullet. <laughs> uh, basically, oh, it, has, uh, oh my God. it has Johnny Depp and some other guy whose name I forget, and the whole movie is them just, like, tripping wow, hard on fuck. whatever they could find. Oh, my God. And I think at one point, Johnny Depp's like, you fucking lizard! He tries to fucking kill him. Me, but a fucking it does not house. look like Johnny Depp in that movie either, because he has like a comb over. Oh, uh, really? He has a comb over and he's dressed like Gilligan from Gilligan's Island. You never saw Johnny Depp's movie where he played a mobster and it was called Black Mass? Oh, there's two of them actually. Oh, there's really? another one called Donnie no, Brasco where he played a. Uh, about this, but Sly has a glider that if you hold R1 and it's falling, he can use a parachute. Yeah. Oh, it's hard. It's handy. Yeah, we forgot to tell you about that. Oh, Bo, yeah. 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 <laughs> right in the water. <laughs> hey, would you, uh, would you gentlemen like some, uh, beverages? Yes, please. What have you got? I think I have Sprite and water. I'll take a water. Yeah, I'll water take a water. Fun. That sounds awesome. Thank you so much, John. You're welcome, sir. Very, very, very. Very, very, very. Very, very, very. Very welcome. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, How do I get up there? You have to climb the wall of ice. Better oh. lock the doors and turn the lights down low. Start to feel the What's the other guy's name? Uh, what's the other guy with the Amazing Spider Man movies? Baby, you ain't got no place to go. What? What's the guy's name for the Amazing Spider Man movies? Oh, uh, Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield. Yeah, he was. He was it's awkward. my birthday. <laughs> it's weird. Andrew Garfield played a bad Peter Parker and a slightly not supposed to go down there. Decent Spider-Man. Shit. And Tobey Maguire, I think, balanced both pretty well. He was awkward, and but I think he did a slightly better Spider-Man. Tom Holland does pretty well in both, but they all have their drawbacks and their positives. I think all the Spider-Man iterations. Well, Tom Holland looks more like an actual teenager. I think probably the best iteration of Spider-Man in the media, other than comic books, is uh, probably in the What's game, uh... Spider-Man PS4. Right over the laptop. <laughs> really, Josh? What? I wanted that water. Okay. Give me that water now. Here Just coughs in it. <laughs> Here you go. Sure. Sounds like Maybe you ain't got no place to go. a mile through freezing water. What the hell? You're doing some fancy dances. Oil mains all destroyed. It's my dance fire. Why'd you put goldfish in this? Ah! What? <laughs> Does it taste bad or something? No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it, was, it was just a really, really, really bad joke. That's a charming image, Bentley. I'm sorry, what am I doing? No. <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, so you're basically you're gonna use your glider to fly around uh, these uh, pockets of air, and if you look to the right, so if you look to the right, uh, that mountain, that iceberg, like out in the middle of the lake, is where you're going. So you're trying to fly around all these to try to get some um, air time. Man, I gotta play through Half Life. Again. So basically, over there in that corner. No, okay, no, no, no. The, the one you, you see on the right side of the screen, that island, that's where you're going. Okay. John can explain <gasps> because. <gasps> yeah, you, so hit every air pocket, but don't get too close to the ground. Honestly? Or else you'll. I would like to. You know what I'd like to see from. You know what I'd oh, like yeah. to see from Far Cry? 
I, so now you just gotta I'm kinda go to around this. and hit every single one. I'm you back know? to this. You know what I like to see from Far Cry? If they went full RPG with choices, like your choices mattering uh, and dialogue yeah. choices and stuff yeah. like that, I, I, I'd like to see how that works. But with the original the mechanics from Far Cry 3 and f 4. Yeah, that'd that be was, nice. That was the height of the gaming mechanics, I think. Like kind of like. Yeah, the, don't don't slow down, Noah, because I know you're I know you're slowing down. I just like to see if they can do it. Because it'll kind of screw you but over a little I bit. I don't like what they did with New Dawn at yeah, all. Yeah, it's a bit weird. It, it just uh, it, you know it could be like such a, a quality dip. I feel like if uh, Far Cry did that, that would be like how I would want the Deus Ex gameplay to feel like, you know? Yeah, exactly. The pro proper De Deus Ex gameplay was really clunky. It was, they went for the first person shooter thing, but it felt clunky. Maybe it's close. Which one have you played? Oh, no. I played, um, uh, what was Human Revolution and Mankind Divided. Okay, yeah. Uh, the newer ones, yeah. Uh, the first one is still the best in my opinion. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, if, you, if you're talking about controls and in some cases the gameplay, Human Revolution is probably the best one. Yeah, and even then it's still clunk clunky. Yeah, but uh, Deus Ex 1, besides the memes, it has a really good story and yeah. it has like choices and like characters and ambiance that feel like they matter, so it feels like you're really there. Mm -hmm. The story is like, I mean the story is absolutely littered with government conspiracies that actually have real facts to back it up. Yeah. But where do you go from and, here? Am I the only that one? I, that who, island just literally who, in front okay. of you. Prefers but, a talking okay, so there will be eagles that attack you. I like, you have to dodge I them. like deep diving into the psyche of this character as I'm playing it. Me, me too. Yeah. They, the, they did yeah. the best. Avoid the eagles, Noah. They 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 did that the best with Jason Brody because as you got better at the game, he went more insane, and I yeah. thought that was a really cool dynamic. Yeah, it was. But I also uh, like uh, AJ Gale or AJ Gale. I like the scene in three when he's like has the uh, grenade launcher and his girlfriend's driving the car. And he's oh like, yeah! He's like Fuck blowing. Yeah! <laughs> and his girlfriend's like, "What are you doing? You're murdering those people!" And he's like, "Yeah, fucking shit, man." He's just getting off the hot, the adrenaline what is this? high. Oh, eagle egg. Excellent! Excellent! <laughs> I thought AJ Gale was a good character too. Yeah, yeah, you were supposed to like. He didn't off lose it as much as Jason did. No. I feel like it would be better if Eight and AJ talked more. Yeah, I wanted him to talk more. Yeah. Um. Well, it's like they're trying to walk the line in between having a character that it's his own thing and uh, having the player. Uh, Imprint on the character. I'm fine if the play if the char the character you're playing as is a is a is an actual like fully fleshed out character. I I, I prefer that. Mm -hmm. And you're supposed to go back to the safe house, I believe. Yeah. It's that's why it was such a weird disconnect hey, going from voiced protagonists like hey, excellent. In the first the first um, Far Cry, the third and the fourth. Okay, before we continue, let's listen to this <laughs> final mission briefing. The Lumberjack games are upon us. Now, despite Murray's study on the long chopping guide, none of us are skilled enough to beat John Bassan in his own game. So, <laughs> well, all those down the wrong hole. Hole. typically you do die. I'm gonna have to light you on fire. Murray, you'll participate in the power log chopping competition. Dang, he's about to... The... Good score, what? and then let Bassan up for his turn. While he's chopping, I'll sneak the eagle egg into his trousers, and the protective parents should discern his axe swings. Sly, given your ascension skills, I've signed you up for the ice wall climb. We'll keep us on from beating your score by the wall. I want Murray to crack the earth in half with his axe chop. <laughs> he's just like Kratos, and he opens up a portal to Hades. Dude, I love Kratos. We're sure to get a Such a damn score. good character. That's not a real equation, Bentley. <laughs> he has no chance of beating it. If you guys are ready, I say we head out and show these meathead lumberjacks oh. what they're made of. Suffer. No, I don't want to suffer any longer.